Good morning, welcome back to my channel, Lovely Love Mallorca. Today we are in Sawyer. Let's go and have a little look around. Come now, on then. Sawyer is in the Tramontana Mountains. It's a lovely little place. There's also a port which is about a few miles down the road. Sawyer is well known because it's got the, the old train that takes you into Palma. It goes all past all the lemon and orange groves. And it's just a lovely little place to visit. Lots of windy little streets, like little paths going past the houses. God, it's a lovely place, isn't it? Just look at this place just there. So I was saying the port is only a few miles down the road. You can get there on the little wo wooden tram that ends up, just goes between the port and Sawyer itself. It's a lovely little ride and I think it's around about seven euros, somewhere around that mark. So it's well worth going down there and have a little look around. We are now in the centre with lots of cafes and bars that are around. All closed apart from takeaways for obvious reasons. This is the the line from the tram I was telling you about you can get to the um to the port or to the town. If you are new to the channel I'd like to welcome you. My name's Andrew, privileged enough to live on the island of Mallorca. I film everywhere from beaches to towns to anything bicycle rides walk swim a dog just about anything that i can film really for your entertainment should i say walking away from the center a little bit which we'll go back shortly you've got all these little shops even we advertising the sa sos tourism as you can see trying to plead with the government to let things start opening shortly This is, you see, this is a, a town that opens all year round for locals. It's well worth coming and having a little look around here if you've never had before in the town. You get a nice day like today, it's the middle of February 2021. You get a nice day like I was saying and it makes a lot of difference. People come from far and wide to have a little look around. I do love looking at these buildings, as you're probably aware by now, how different they all are compared to the, the last building. At the moment on the island it's orange and lemon time and every time you see them they look so lovely for the taking. Everything looks so much nicer when you get a little bit of sunlight doesn't it? And there's some lemon trees. You can get an organised trip to Sawyer or the Port of Sawyer, either through your hotel and independent operator. Heading back towards the centre, but from a different angle now. Which is up here is where the tram comes, um, drops you off and collects you from. So up there, the top end, they all have the work done at the moment. That is the little train station that takes you down to Palma, the little, what is called the orange and lemon grow ones. So it's all around here, but you can't get in because it's all closed because they're doing a lot of work, as you can see. So as I say, this is a little tram that takes you down, normally it's a lot longer than this, as you can see. But it's definitely worth it. 
definitely worth having a go on it. It's a lot of fun. You see a lot more than what you can when you're driving. Life for normal, you can always make out the town hall because they have the flags flying. The church is next to the town hall, in the centre. So I was saying it's well worth having a little look around here if you get the opportunity. These little old towns, I'd absolutely love to come and explore. Normally, this here would have been open with the cafes because obviously um, this is all for the, um, for the locals here. But unfortunately, due to the virus and the government, all the cafes have closed down. So with a bit of luck, all that will be open within the two weeks and the cafes should be back to normal, fingers crossed. Another SOS tourism sign. Lots of them around. They're getting more and more and more signs in the hotels and the restaurants everywhere. And what do I like more? Ice cream. And there's only about half a dozen flavours, but you can always find something you like. Delicious. And then following the tram line away from the centre a little bit, you, um, you come across a, a lot more area to investigate. Got a little market just in front of you, you can see there. A few more shops coming down and the tram line goes to the left. There are a few car parks located, but the majority of them have only got a few car park spaces. So what I've done today, I've actually parked my car on the main um, Sawyer to um, the Port of Sawyer Road. So it really meant I had a few minutes to walk down, but knowing how busy it gets in the town, I didn't want to be logged up with all the traffic trying to find the space. So that's my recommendation. There's a nice lot of parks around just outside the centre. Just by the um, well, just had the sandwiches here. Got an orange tree. Because they belong to the council, you're more than welcome to um to take one. Well, I'm just heading back towards the centre again. Then I'll be heading back towards the car. So another nice little local road where the residents live, as you can see here. As I said to you earlier, I do love the how they've done the brickwork. So up in a little side street, there's a little restaurant stroke cafe that looks pretty bad. But even bad enough for what's happening at the moment, it also has to contain works right outside its business. How unlucky is that? I wonder if the chap who owns this actually sells his lemons because there's an awful lot in there for for normal consumption isn't there well I hope you liked today's filming Sawyer if you did please give us a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget my Facebook page Loving Life New Yorker all your comments I love to read them if you'd like me to go somewhere in particular to have a look at then just please ask you take care and I'll see you in the next film. Bye bye for now.